We praise the Lord, guys, evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries, and I just feel like we're in a real sober hour, a real time of seriousness, of soberness, a solemnness. You know, I'm not always a killjoy or a party pooper. You know, there's times of peace and there's times of war, but I feel we're going into a real sober hour in the Bible really admonishes us about being sober and being vigilant. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, you've got an enemy, God's got an enemy. The dev now listen, there's no match between God and the devil, hallelujah. I mean, it's not like it's a close, if you ever see world, you know, WWF, the arrest, it wouldn't be close, you understand what I'm saying? But we do still have an enemy because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion. It doesn't say he is a roaring lion. He's like one. He's like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Resist him. Submit yourself, therefore, unto God. Resist the devil and what he shall flee for you from you. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor. Please subscribe if you're new. Please, I'm asking everybody, hit the like, the thumbs up, smash it, hit it. When YouTube sees the engagement, they recommend videos. If you have a comment or a prayer request, I always you know, look at all the prayer requests. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, but I do look at some of them and some... There have been some that stay with me. I'll carry them for a day or two and just pray and just ask, Lord, break through for that woman. Break through, Father. I prophesy over that, whatever. So any prayer requests are more than welcome in the comment section. I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern New York. Joel chapter 1, verse 13. Listen to these scriptures. Please don't turn this off. Listen to these scriptures because... This really captures the hour we're in and what we're going in. You know, there's movements out there in Christian dome, Christianity, that say though that the church is going to dominate in the end times. We're taking over the earth. It is true. There's a revival and awakening and outpouring that we're going to see like we've never seen. But at the same time, the natural world's not going to get better. Jesus said, Matthew 24, when you hear of wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, divers, that means when you see more wars and more earthquakes simultaneously take place than at any other time in the history of man, you know there's an acceleration and increase the beginning of birth pangs. Now listen to these scriptures. I'm sorry. Here we go. Joel chapter 1, verse 13. Gird yourselves, lament you priests. Well, you who minister before the altar, come lie all night in sackcloth. You who minister to my God, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, and cry out to the Lord. You know, where there's always a cry, there's always a hope. Where there's a cry, there's a hope. We've got to cry out. We've got to really just take the horns of the altar and not let go now. Uh, Joel chapter 2, now therefore, verse 12, Joel 2, 12, therefore says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning, rend your heart, not your garments, return to the Lord your God, he's gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will relent? And it says, blow the trumpet in Zion. And we've been blowing the trumpet. We've been sounding the alarm, calling a sacred, solemn assembly. The latter part of Joel 2.17 says, let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. God, we're taking hold of the horns of the altar. We're not letting go, Lord. We're saying, have mercy and grace. Give us a span. Divert the judgment, the wrath that's coming, because we we sense something in us knows something's coming. But we want to see an awakening, a revival, souls saved, people discipled, 
the army of the Lord raised up, the rising remnant, the remnant that still made it through this season, Lord, plague, the pestilence, Lord, and uh, things economically going on, and the change of the presidency, and some people like it, some don't, and the politics, but God, we're holding on to the altar. We're going to take the horns of the altar, and we're not going to let go in Jesus' name. And guys, it's Monday. If you made it this far, I'll be live tonight. I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m. Please, if you have any comments, prayer requests, put it in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new. Blessings in Jesus' name.